Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nakia. Okay, today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different from what I normally do, but I wanted to do some videos where I am trying to break down how to use SQL for those of you that are new data analysts or learning SQL, want to become data analysts. I want to try and simplify some things and try to make it easier for you to understand. So one of the things that was hard for me to learn when I first um, started in data analytics was the left join and right join understanding the differences and then also why I came to only use a left join. I want to explain that to you guys. So if you're not familiar, SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a programming language that we use to manipulate data in relational databases. And databases are structured in columns and rows, just like you would see on or see in an Excel file. And joins work similar to, I would say, like a VLOOKUP or an HLOOKUP. If you're familiar with Excel, you're looking up something that is on one sheet that has a matching field on another sheet and joining that data together. Joins work similar to that. You may be wondering why I have these Uno cards laid out here. And that's because I'm a visual person. So I want to explain this in a way that you can actually see. And I'll put up other visuals um, as I see fit throughout the video to kind of help you guys out a little bit more. But the relational databases that we use to query have tables. And the tables are laid out, again, in columns and rows. So in this example, we have table A and table B. So in this example, the, the reverse card as well as the skip card are going to represent the column names or field names. And this is the data that's housed within the data that's in the rows in each of the columns within the table. So same here, skip, reverse. These are our field names or column names. And this is the data that would be in the rows going across. So we only have two columns just to make this simple and also because I don't have any more space on the table. But when we are querying a database, we are selecting data from a database and in most cases trying to join it to another table within the database because you're going to find that all the data you need is typically not contained within one table. So you have to join it to another table. So in this example, I am wanting to get this data merged over to this data. So I want to get data from table B to table A. So first, let's discuss a left join. A left join says select whatever columns you have from the left table, which again is literally on your left, is the first table that you're selecting in your from statement. So select from. Your left table will always be contained in your from statement. Make sure you understand that. And I'll put that up. So select from, I'm selecting from table A here. And I am asking the database to left join to table B. So the left join is stating to bring me everything back from my left table, but only return matching records from the counterparts that match from the right table or whatever other tables you're joining to. So if you look at the skip column, there are two rows of data that match. So you will see the nines are the same, the fives are the same. So I can join this table, it's going to bring me everything in table A, but it's only going to bring me back the data that matches in table B. So as we can see, this, this table has a three, this table has a four. So this row of data will not come back in my left join because it doesn't match. Let me say that again. <laughs> when you're doing your left join, you're asking the database to bring you back everything from your left table, which this is on our left, and bring me back the matching rows of data on the right table. So these two pieces do not match. This row of data will not match. So it will return null values on the right side. Now the opposite of that is true when you are doing a right join. A right join is saying, hey, bring me back everything that's on the right table 
and only bring me back matching data on the left. So this data does not match. So these, this row of data would be null if I did a right job. Okay, so we are going to take a look at an example in a different way. We are going to look at a table that has employee salary information and then another table that has marital status information. So we want to look at these two tables and we're going to create a small query in the database to try and join the data together. So if you look at the two tables in the example, you can see that both tables have ID and name columns, but one has salary, one has stat. So we wanna write a query that will allow us to bring over the marital status information onto the table that has salary information. So we're gonna join it together, join that data together. We don't need the ID and name to come over in this query, but just the status. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a select the ID, name, and salary from table A, and then we're going to left join to table B on the IDs matching and then on the names matching. And then in our select statement, we'll also bring in the status from table B. So what it'll look like is like select ID, name, salary from table A, status from table B, left join to table B on the ID in the name columns. This example is not so much about the query, but more so about how the left join works. So the left join will bring back everything from the table on our left, which is table A, because that's what we put in our from statement. And it's going to join on the ID and names, those aligning and matching, which we have John and Simon matching IDs and names. So that'll be the data that we get back when we do our left join. So as you can see, our left join brought back everything that we selected from our left table, and it brought back the matching records from our right table that we joined on. Okay, so in our right join example, we're going to be selecting the ID name and status from table B and selecting the salary from table A. And we're going to do a right join on where the IDs and name matches between the two tables. The only difference is that in the right join, we're going to end up having all of the rows of data come back from the right table, which for us is table B, but it's only going to bring back data from our left table where the, match, where the records match. So as you can see, we don't have a matching record for Alex in this example, so that row of data will not return. Okay. So now let me explain why I only typically normally use a left join. So when you are writing your SQL statement, you get to choose what table is on your left. So you could literally say, select from table B and make this, y'all, I'm gonna have to move it. Okay, so I switched things around, as you can see. So I can literally rewrite my SQL statement to say select from table B, left join to table A. So you can change the order in which your tables are. Like you can change which table is going to be your left table. You can change which table is going to be on your right. So because you can switch that around, I don't personally see the need to do a right join because I can just switch the order in which my tables are listed. I can just say, hey, instead of table A being on the left, just put table B on the left, you know? So that's why I typically only use a left join. I'm not saying there is never a need for a right join, but if I'm going to rewrite and change left to right, I can easily, just as easily change my table that's on the left and the table that's on the right. So it's definitely per personal preference and there may definitely be some use cases where you're like, yeah, I definitely need to use a right join. But for me personally, I found that this is what works best for me, just swapping my tables around as to what's gonna be on the left, what's gonna be on the right, and then getting my data that way. So 
That's what works for me. As you guys begin to learn, you will find what works best for you. But I will leave some resources linked down below in the description box to hopefully help you guys out um, if you're struggling with this. But leave me any comments below if you have any questions about left and right joins. I do want to possibly go into other types of joins, like a full outer join, that kind of thing. I can do a video explaining that if you guys would like, but leave me a comment below. Let me know. Like the video if you liked it and found this helpful, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.